What's up guys? Um, I'm going to give you guys some solid examples in this video of why the narcissist is so ungrateful. And the truth is we all know that the narcissist is very ungrateful and is forever ungrateful and nothing can ever be good enough for these individuals. So basically, empaths are very grateful for the small things in life. We don't need the whole world. We don't need to be thriving every single second of every single day. We can take, we can take some bad. We can take it. You know, we don't have to be living in chaos and drama and just being on this high 24 seven. We can step back and reflect. We are open-minded just humble, down-to-earth individuals that don't need everything to be happy because we have ourselves. We have a certain level of happiness within ourselves. The narcissist does not have this. They need fuel. They need supply. They need these things to keep themselves going because if they don't have this, they are dead because they have nothing inside to fuel themselves. They have absolutely nothing. And this makes them so ungrateful. So ungrateful. Whereas the empath could be grateful to have just a few good people in his or her life. It would mean the world to them just to have a few good people in their life. And they don't need everything else. Like, for example, you'd have a few close friends that you could do everything with. And you might have more than a few close friends. You might have like a handful, a couple hands, hands full of friends that you can be close with. You can do everything with. You can do activities with. You guys can have deep talks together. You guys are very close and very connected and very trusting of each other. You guys are just like this, just 100% cool. That's just about everything empaths want. That's just about every, that's just about what every regular person wants and doesn't need a whole lot of everything else. Whereas a narcissist, they want things like this too, but not in the same way. They also want more than this. They need more than that. That's why they're ungrateful. No one in their right mind who has anything good going for themselves has the time of day to have all these acquaintances in their lives. Guys, I'm so busy with my own life. I don't have time. I don't have room for 100 acquaintances in my life, 500 acquaintances in my life. Narcissists, they can have like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people on the go. And I'm not even joking. Maybe not even all at once, but they have a fair, fairly good amount at once. And they can even cut certain people off. They can block and delete people. They can go on to new people. They can keep people in the shadows. They're just crazy, ruthless, ungrateful individuals. That's what they are. And when it comes to the narcissist, I'm going to speak to the narcissist right now through this camera. So... Listen, I'm not a jealous guy, okay? If you want to talk to all these guys, you can go ahead and do this. I'm not jealous, and I'm not bitter, mad, none of these things. You can go ahead and do this. But if you go ahead and do this, you're not going to have me. And you know why you're not going to have me? Because I deserve better than this. I literally de I literally deserve better than this. I don't deserve someone who is doing this bullshit. You know what I mean? 
you tell them this and they just can't even, they don't agree with you. They think it's alright to do this. They think it's alright to do this and still keep you in their life. For, to use you for whatever they want you to. Because they can't see life out of your own two eyes. They can't feel for you. They can't see where you're coming from. They can only see where they're coming from. And whatever, whatever affects you, it doesn't matter to them. They can't even see that because nothing affects them really. What affects them is not being able to get what they want. They have a problem when it comes to people who don't give them what they want. That's why you have to stonewall these individuals. And they're going to get mad at you when you do this. You guys are going to become enemies when you do this. When you ignore these individuals, you now became enemies. That's just how they are. You don't do what they want you to do. You are now the enemy. They are just ungrateful, spiteful, rotten to the core individuals that are never going to learn. And this is how they are and it's how they're always going to be. And like I said, any females that I ever come in contact with that are like this, I let it be known. And I let it be known if, if, I, if I sense they're doing this or see that they're doing this or know that they're doing this. I let it be known. Like, I don't mess with girls that have boyfriends. I don't mess with girls that talk to a whole bunch of different dudes. Why? Because what the hell am I doing? You know what I mean? Is one person not good enough for you? One person, for me, is enough. That's enough to deal with in the first place. Like, Nurse, the thing with narcissists is they're not busy or productive with their lives. The only thing they're busy doing is playing games. Like with other people. And it's sick. They're getting nowhere. They're doing nothing. And they do this because they know they're not good enough and they know they're not worthy just for one person. And if they were to be with just one person... They know there's a good chance that this could come to an end because of them. Because they know they're not good enough. That's why they keep a whole bunch of individuals in the woodworks. Once one supply source dies, they could care less because they got another. They don't just got another, they got many other. Many others. This is their game. This is how they roll. This is what they do. That's why they're ungrateful. They have ungrateful mindsets, period. And they don't see it like that. But it is what it is. They're not grateful for the small things. When empaths are. Empaths got their shit together. Empaths know the right way of life. Just thinking about these individuals, just thinking about the way they think is exhausting. It literally does something to you. That's how they feel all the time. Like, they're exhausted all the time. Doing these videos takes energy, guys. It takes energy. But I like it. And I like exposing these individuals. It has to be done. And I just, I love psychology. I love this shit. I love helping other people. I love doing these things. I like speaking my truth. It's all worth it. But, but that's how these people are. They're honestly, they, they don't have any time for anything good. Because they're always exhausted. They're always just leeching off everybody else. They're gaining energy from other people because they can't gain energy themselves. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to humble themselves. They don't know how to put themselves together. They don't know how to get up every day to make the right food, to do the right things, to fuel themselves, to actually get fucking going. And you know what? Some of these individuals do know how, but some don't. 
that's the truth. Not every single individual. There are some narcs that are heavy into the gym and shit like this. They're just very dark, shallow individuals who have a lot of envy and bitterness and jealous in them. They could still be ripped. They could still be in shape. But if you have a conversation with these people, you can still feel the jealous spirit inside of them because they're just never satisfied. They can they can get as ripped as they want. They can do whatever they want to do in the gym. And they're just rotten at the core individuals that are just like that, that have those spirits. It's like no matter what they do, they just, they cannot be a happy, positive, outgoing person. They just can't. Like, those are individuals I never want to be around. Ever. You feel bad when you're around them. They make, they almost make you feel like a bad person. They try to do this. It's because they see something in you that they don't have once again. And that is, that is true happiness. That is, your spirit is lit on fire. Your spirit is enlightened. They don't have this. They see that you have it. They see you. They see your vibe. They see your aura. They see your energy. They see the way you talk. The way you walk. The way you speak. The way you think. They want that. But they don't have that. Now... They're going to give you these bad vibes, these this weird energy. And there's nothing you can do but feel what they try to put on you. And like I said, they just try to make you feel bad. All in all. And that's that's how narcissists are. They, they just can't help themselves. They want to see themselves as better than you. They want, to, they want to see themselves like that. And they just know they're not. And it clarifies that they are clearly not whenever you are around them. When you have your shit together, when you're happy. Because that's, that's the goal in life anyways. It's, it's happiness. Positivity. Success, happiness, positivity. All these things. That's what life is about. What's the good if you have millions in your bank account and you are just miserable, depressed, can't do anything? You're just suicidal. You know what I mean? What's what's the good in that? Some individuals sell their souls and literally do everything in their power just to get rich and they have nothing else. There's no good in that. So... These individuals need to keep that in mind and you have to stay true to yourself and go for happiness. You have to put in work too and you have to make money, but happiness is always a top priority. That is the top priority. And like I said in other videos, there are some people that make like up to 35 to 50k a year. They're some of the happiest people in this world. Some individuals that make in between 35 and 50k are some of the happiest individuals in this world. I think it's actually pro a proven fact. So, And then again, there are people that are wealthy that are obviously clearly happy as well. So it's like, it's just, it's life is whatever you make it. It's whatever you make it. And I feel that narcissists are so delusional and so stupid that they just can't put things together. They do everything for the wrong reasons. They do everything for the wrong reasons. That's that's another great way you can explain a narcissist. And I'm going to cut this video off here. Um, just remember how ungrateful these individuals are. Remember this talk that we just had in this video. Remember that if there's any individuals like this that try to come into your life or that like they come off as they want to be a part of your life but they they have other people in the woodworks they're talking to other individuals it's just they clearly don't have their shit together they clearly don't people that do this don't have their shit together guys they don't you can't do the things they do and have the time in the run of a day to get your shit together it takes focus. It takes commitment. 
And you need somebody like that in your life. You need somebody like you in your life. Enough said. I'm going to cut this video off now. I will be back tomorrow with another video. With another couple of videos, most likely. Any more video requests, feel free to share them. In the comments section, email, DMs on Instagram, anywhere you want. I'll be back.